What's happening, everyone? This is Lonnie Hill with Lonnie Hill's Flatline Fitness. This is where we burn calories, we flatline fat, and we strengthen our hearts on a daily basis through diet and exercise. And we also learn nutritional facts to help sustain that healthy lifestyle. So, boom, here it is. Today, we're not going to talk about fitness right now. I just had something on my mind. It was a thought that I had. And, um, and I want to see what you guys think about it. Um, your thought process. We all understand that your thought process which is absolutely motivated by your perception of things. Okay, we understand all that, but your thought process ultimately determines how your life unfolds. You know, um, the decisions that you make and all that, it, 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 it's, it's the beginning of how your life unfolds. Okay, so ask yourself this question right here. <clears throat> this is something that I've thought about. Do you think to survive or do you think to live? Because there's a difference, you know. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can explain it right. Thinking to survive, <clears throat> um, you can use the typical, and this isn't a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad thing. But if you think about the typical um, single parent, you know, um, their thought process is always, well, most of the times, I'm not going to um, absolute that statement, but most of the time, their their um, thought process is. Um, how am I gonna make this happen tomorrow? Like, for example, how am I gonna pay this bill? What am I gonna do to pay this bill? What do I have to do today to pay this bill tomorrow? Or to make sure something don't get cut off? Or how am I gonna put this food on the table? Yada, yada, yada. Those are all thoughts of survival. <clears throat> you know, to survive to the next day. Um, to make it happen. You know, as opposed to living. Thoughts of living is like, what can I do? to better secure a foundation that can support and take care of my lifestyle so I don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? It's like, for example, um, <clears throat> we'll talk about from a monetary standpoint, um, multiple flows of income. You know, that's, that's the way to look at it. Like you got people who are wealthy, who are rich, you know, are very successful, you know, their assets take care of their livelihood it takes care of them you know they don't have to worry about how that bill is going to get paid because their assets they they've done the things that they needed to do to make sure that they don't have those worries and they're able to live their life and enjoy the fruits of the label spend time with their family and not have to work so hard or, you know what i'm saying and don't get me wrong whenever you obtain a certain level of success in order to keep and maintain that success you have to work harder and harder and harder that's not what i'm saying but what I'm saying is, like, they don't have the worries of a survivor. You know what I'm saying? They're living. So, is your thought process in a survival mode or a living mode? Think about that. Tell me what y'all think about this.